and there's never a dull moment in the restaurant business. Anybody knows me knows I'm an internal optimist. Is a glass of water half full or half empty? In my opinion, it's not only full, I got a pitcher of water sitting right beside it. You know, that's the way I look at it. In the beginning, I like to tell my brother was a medical doctor. And he didn't have any money, he was out of med school. Back then, you got all those credit card offers and got the cash advance on them to put the money into the first restaurant for me. But I knew when I got that funding and I got this deal done and I knew the restaurant was gonna happen, all I needed was a start. So this restaurant was never ever about one restaurant. It was about the birth of a company. This was the start of Cameron Mitchell Restaurants. What the really fun part is, is the creating of the new concepts. It's the hard part, it's the heavy lifting part, but it's a lot of fun. So it all depends a lot of on the site and we kind of try to match the concept to the location. And then after we do that, and if it's successful, then we start thinking about maybe replicating it and, and matching those locations across the country. You know, my favorite restaurant is always the next one. You know, right now, uh, my favorite restaurant's The Pearl. We just opened it a few months ago. It's that continual excitement of growing and building that I really thrive on and seeing new restaurants come to light. The answer is yes, what's the question? If there's a way we can do something, we're gonna make it happen. I started with my family and I had a young son, four years old at the time. I wanted to get him a milkshake. So I ordered a milkshake and the server says, well, we don't really have a milkshake for kids. And I said, uh, why not? You just can't? And she says, no. I said, will you talk to your manager for me, please? The manager comes over and she says, you know, well, we pre-portioned the ice cream and if we did a little bit of ice cream for your son, what would we do with the rest of it? I said, well, can I have a chocolate milk then? And she said, uh, well, sure. She said, it'd be my pleasure. She thought she was doing me a great favor at that point in time. And she starts to walk away and I said, excuse me, I got one question for you. She said, what's that? I said, well, it says here on your menu, a la mode, uh, 295. What, what does that mean? She says, well, that's a scoop of ice cream with our desserts. I said, well, great. Can I have an order of a la mode and an order of chocolate milk? If you whip that up in a blender for me, that'd be terrific. And she says, well, that's okay, but that's gonna be expensive, sir. I said, I'm a big boy, I can handle it, no problem. The milkshake has become the icon of hospitality. We use it for all of our annual meetings and company events and president's round tables and so forth. We start all the big meetings with a milkshake toast to all of us in the room to great people delivering genuine hospitality. It reinforces across the board how the answer is yes, what's the question? And that's an attitude. If we're better today than we were yesterday, and better tomorrow than we are today, by that virtue alone, tomorrow will be more of a successful restaurant company. The success of Cameron Mitchell Restaurants, I like to say is, yeah, I was part of it, but I was one guy. You know, there was a lot of other people, uh, hundreds and hundreds that have worked really hard to make it successful. If we take care of our people, they take care of our guests, and our guests take care of our company. And that's basically how it works. If your associates aren't happy and feeling good about what they're doing and where they're working and who they work with and, and so forth, they can't deliver genuine hospitality. And we like to say we're great people delivering genuine hospitality, and that can't be achieved unless we're taking care of our people first.